It's Elaine here, back again. And today I am here to show you guys the difference between, well, I guess the different brow, brow products? I'm like, what, what is it called? Brow products. Um, I have obviously mentioned, if you haven't checked out my other vlogs, I've mentioned my brow issue, how they're not, never even and I literally plucked them when it was popular to have like thin ass eyebrows and they never grew back the same and even with microblading obviously it fades as you can see and I have used everything from eyeshadow, gels, um, the latest Rodin and Fields brow defining boost and I just wanted to give an honest review about all of them. So today I am showing you the difference between Glossier, Boy Brow, and Rodin and Fields Brow Defining Boost. And I'll also do a comparison with Thrive Cosmetics Instant Brow Fix. I'm like trying to remember all the names. I'm not doing the comparison for shadow because I did use shadow for the longest time or like a little powder form from like Revlon. I've used MAC and I really did like the Revlon one, but it just takes so much longer for like shadow. Anyways, so I'm gonna start with the Glossier, which I do like, I like it. Sometimes a little too much product comes out. Okay, like that. <laughs> Oopsies. So anyways, I like it. It just takes some blending. This is supposed to give like a really natural look. And this is in black. I don't even know if they have any other colors, by the way. The Thrive Cosmetics one, I ordered the black, but it came like dark brown, to be honest. Whoa. So all of Glossier's products is supposed to be like natural looking. Makes your makeup looks like you're not wearing any. Um, that's that's the thing. That's apparently the thing nowadays. Obviously with mask, what shows up here is super important because people can't see what's down here anyway. So now I've been like doing my eyes more, but I, I don't really wear heavy makeup anyway. So this is the Broden and Fields one. I like this one because it doesn't really bring out that much product. Something about the brush. And it's buildable, so maybe I'll show you the buildable next time in another video. I have a tendency of gluing all my videos together because I'm like, oh, I forgot to talk about this. So anyways, um. This is also in black, by the way, and it's buildable. So you can kind of tell this one looks more natural, the Rodin and Fields one. And this one, less product came out. And this is a much newer tube because this product literally came out like yesterday. And as a consultant, I got it a week in advance. I got it a week in advance. This one I've been using for like, I don't know, couple months, couple months now. And um, this one actually looks more natural, but just to show you guys, I'm gonna build on this. I guess I could use the same thing. I don't really need to dip it. The thing I really like about the Rodin and Fields one is instead of just being makeup, right? Makeup during the day that you have to put on every day and wipe off and do it again is this one actually gives the appearance of darker and fuller looking brows over time, even without the product. So I've had a bunch of other consultants and my friends use it before the product launch for like two months, three months. And you could see that like their brows look super different, even without the product after just like four weeks 
or six weeks. And I'm like, is it in my head? But I've only been using for a week and it feels darker, but I don't want to make that claim, you know, like they're just, just in my head. So I took my before yesterday. Now I got to look back and see if I have any photos from a week before that I ever started using the product because I didn't even think to take my before photo, right, of my bare brows because I'm like, oh, it's not going to work for like, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks. So now I'm curious. I might dig back and look to see if I have any, have any photos. So I liked this product, the Glossier product. And then I was like, ooh, the product, ugh. Uh, the product, the brows keep getting too much product on it with this little spoolie. I don't know if it's the way it's made. And then I tried the Thrive Cosmetics Brow Fix and I was like, oh, I like that brush better, which I'll show you guys, not today because I don't like wiping off my makeup. I'm pretty low maintenance that way. So I'll probably come back tomorrow and give you guys the comparison between the Glossier and the Thrive and maybe the Rodin and Feels and the Thrive. We'll see if I feel like taking off my, my makeup and putting it back on. But right now, Obviously not because I'm biased because I'm a Rodin and Fields consultant, but I'm definitely leaning towards the Rodin and Fields brow defining boost because I love how the product goes on. Not a lot comes out and it like I personally like this side better. I don't know about you guys and it's faster to apply, but more than anything, it has the long term benefit of making it look darker and fuller over time. So maybe like bye-bye microblading touch-ups and it's actually gonna stick. So maybe one day I won't need to wear any brow makeup or just a slight touch-up. Whereas now I am fine, my brows are okay, but the microblading has definitely faded. So I, I don't like to go without brow product. So this, product is really going to support that and really help the brows pop, which I hear eyebrows say a lot about you. You know what I mean? And I think eyebrows is one of those things that gives people a lot of confidence or not, right? Depending on whether you love your brows or not. So, and BT dubs, this comes in four colors. It comes in light, which I am clearly not, but maybe if you have light hair, blonde hair, it comes in medium, which a lot of people that have darker, like like medium brown hair wears. And even some of my friends who have darker hair and they like the lighter, softer look, not my style, but like they like to wear a medium. Uh, dark, I could have gotten away with. It's like a dark brown. It kind of reminds me of the Thrive Cosmetics black, actually. I was like, why is this not black? Um, so anyways, I like black because I like it a little darker and just FYI, it's totally buildable. Should I show you guys now? But then I'd have to build the Glossier one too. Let me build the Glossier one first because I don't want to be like one dark ass eyebrow and one like not dark eyebrow. I personally like it this way, but in case you guys want it darker, I don't want it darker actually. Do I want it darker? FYI, it does get darker. So I don't want to do it right now because I like I like how it looks as is. Okay, fine. I'll do it just for you guys. Doing the Glossier first. Whoa. Yeah, it, it goes on like a little uneven. Like you see the little hair, like chunks. Don't get me wrong. I still like this product. It just uh, like the product goes on a little wonky sometimes um and it doesn't have the long-term benefit like it doesn't make your brows darker or fuller over time or anything so you just have to keep using the product all the time i made it slightly darker now let me do the other one whoa For those of you guys without brows, this is great. For those of you guys that have faded microblading, this is also great. For those of you guys that think microblading is too expensive, this is also great. 
I've never liked my brows like super dramatic where it looks like you have, whoa. The so this is a little dark for me on both sides. It's just like, so I don't think I need the buildable, like the super building-ish looking one. Like this one, you could tell it looks kind of uneven. Does that make sense? And maybe that's me being shitty at doing makeup, but the way that it goes on, it's kind of like, do you call it chunky? Do you call it like clunky? I, I don't know, like you have to like use another spoolie without product, like, you know, another makeup brush to brush it out. For me, I feel, whereas this one, the brush, it doesn't do that. Does that make sense? I know you guys see the difference, like this one, it looks like a lot more even and like almost softer, even though it's black. It's And this one looks like I need to brush this part right here. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna, oops, F it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out like this today. I'm going to WeWork today, working, have a bunch of meetings. Maybe they'll notice my brows if they're, they are a makeup person. Maybe they won't. I just really feel like brushing this out, but I don't have my other brush here with me. So I guess that's that, guys. Make sure if you guys haven't liked, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on your notifications. I do have a bunch more reviews on different products coming from a non-super makeup beauty person. Everything is really minimal for me. As in, I don't put a lot on my face. I don't spend a lot of time on my face, but I do have a lot of products, if you know what I mean. Anyway, see you guys soon. Uh, I will be updating the Thrive, the Thrive Brow Fix as well, and doing a comparison there. All right, see you later. Hey guys, I felt called Look at my mask me. I felt called to come on to do a quick video. You can't really see as well on here. I took a shower and I realized this side of the brow stayed on much better than this side of the brow. I don't know if you guys can tell this is the Rodin and Field side. This is the Glossier side. I put it on this morning. I showed you guys. And it's, it's like more noticeable when I look in the mirror. Um, but this side is still like a darker color. And this side is like definitely more faded. Let me know if y'all can tell. Um, I was sweaty today. New York subway station uh, twice was working all day. It's like 930 now at night and I took a shower. I took a shower and this side is definitely holding up better. Just FYI, just an FYI guys. Whoa. Okay, I'm running late today. But I wanted to come on and do another demo, like I promised, for Brow Boost, Brow Defining Boost, Rodin and Fields, and Thrive Cosmetics Instant Brow Fix, Semi-Permanent semi Brow Gel. Today I'll do Rodin and Fields first. I have like three minutes to do this and get out of the house. So, let's see. Whoa. So even though that little bit of product came out, that little extra chunk, it's really easily like spreadable. Unlike my, my Glossier um, issue from yesterday. I guess that's kind of it. Sometimes people like to leave it a little kind of like softer in the front. So I guess I'll go for that today. I like it a little bit more though, just a little. Might go back later, but leaving it a little softer at the front today. This is Thrive Cosmetics. FYI, this is Serena, which is their black. They have a brown, which is lighter, but you can so tell it's brown. It's not black. 
weird. Um, anyways, for someone like me that likes it darker, I'd be like, so this one, a little more product comes out, as you can sort of tell. Whoa, maybe you can't tell, but ooh, okay, yes you can. Oh gosh, okay. I thought I liked this brush better than the Glossier one, but now, ooh, now I gotta go back and do my other one. Yikes. It's like a lot of product comes out. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday when I did the other demo, but the Rodin and Fields one, it's super buildable. Like, as you can tell, even though I have black in Rodin and Fields, it comes out really soft. And I think the two last a while. I think my friends had it for three months, a few of my friends, and they're still using the bottle. Ooh, this one's like really dark. Not saying I don't like it, but I can't say this is buildable because I it came out dark. Yikes. Uh, so now I gotta go back and fix another one. Hi, cat. Okay, don't be trying to climb on me, cat. Your claws be hella sharp. It's just kitty cat again. Wee. Okay, let me try building on this one because this one's way dark now. And this is black, so the Thrive Cosmetics one, it reminds me of the dark color from Rodent and Field. So it comes in light, medium, dark, and black, which is what I have. So if you want the more natural look, maybe the Thrive one is not for you. Yeah, it's still dark on this side, actually. Like, so much product came out. Whoa. I'm trying to make this side darker to match the other side. Yeah, this one's definitely more brown. Even though this is lighter, you could tell it's more grayish black, if you can tell. Um, I'm just about to say F it, because I don't want to be late to meet my friend at the co-working space. It's raining today as well, so OMG. Okay. So also I could have pressed harder on this and more color would have came out, but I was trying to go for a little bit more of the not super dark look today. So this is where I'll go for now. Wanted to show you guys, but let's see how it stands. The test of time, it's raining today. Yesterday, my Rodin and Fields brow stayed on really good. The Glossier, you could tell it was blotchy and faded. So let's see what happens today with my Rodin and Fields and my Thrive Cosmetics eye. See you later, gotta run. Bye.